It is heartbreak for an Oakland family as a mother holds her dying daughter in her arms. Tonight, the mother is speaking out about what happened, and she's demanding justice for her daughter after she was shot and left to die in the street. Andrea Nakano has the story. Blanca Velasco and her daughter were just trying to protect their kids and send a message to suspected drug dealers parked outside of their home. The 33-year-old daughter, Maria Ramos, though, got hit when bullets started flying. The family is in grief, including Ramos's eight children. A memorial stands outside of Blanca Velasco's East Oakland home for her daughter, Maria Ramos. Ramos had eight children from one to 15 years old. Her five-year-old girl is still waiting for her mom to come home. She says, I hear people saying that my mom is di it died, but she's still coming back from the hospital, right, Grandma? And I'd be like, yeah, because I, I don't know how to tell her she's not coming back, you know? A week ago, Velasco and Ramos noticed a blue Toyota in front of their home they believe was trying to deliver marijuana vapes to one of the teens. When I saw them, I just wanted to let them know that my kids are 11, 13, 15, and 16. You know, don't come by my house. Velasco says they followed the car as it drove away. When the car stopped, they thought they would just be able to talk. And when I saw that there were kids, I'm thinking, they're kids. And I told my daughter, and it's just me and you, two girls, no weapons. You know, they're just going to probably curse us out, but never came to my mind that they would have a gun. My daughter got off the car. She looked at me, turned around, and as she turned around, I just saw her running. And I heard the bang. It just happened so quick. This is was in less than a, than a minute. In an effort to block the bullets from hitting her daughter, Velasco put her car in between her and the suspects. Then she led them away from the scene with her life now in danger. As I see the, the one sitting in the back holding the gun and made eye contact with me and then pointed the gun at me, I stepped on the gas. So they followed me. About a block later, the suspects fled and Velasco drove back to her daughter, thinking Ramos had dodged the bullets. Instead, she found her lifeless body on the ground. It's very upsetting that when we call 911, they put you on hold. I was like, baby, please, your kids still need you and I need you. Please breathe slowly. And she did. She was breathing with her nose. She was going like... She did it like five times. Oakland police officers try to keep Ramos alive until paramedics arrive, but she died at the scene. Velasco has been trying to grieve the loss of her daughter, but she says the 13 grandkids she's taking care of now keep her busy. She just hopes one day she can tell Ramos's children that the people who took their mom's life are paying for their crimes. I want justice for my daughter. The way they took her life, it was so unfair. Oakland is very bad, and I don't see no changes. I just see it worse every day more.